myself and we got Kevin. What's up, Kevin? Just got myself and Kevin in today's video. We're going to be doing some camping, some fishing. We're gonna be cooking up some really good food. Anyway, stay tuned. I have to uh, make a couple stops at like a gas station and a grocery store. And we'll probably uh, just see you guys at the camp spot that we're gonna be camping at tonight. join them we are officially in the sticks y'all here's the river still freaking frozen just like that y'all we have kind of made it to the spot we're at the little park that we're gonna be camping at tonight but there's actually somebody fishing like the best cat fishing spot here but it's only like three o'clock and the prime time catfish bite isn't till like sundown or like once the sun like just hits the trees all the way into the night so yeah, i'm not too worried about fishing right now but i might actually while i'm hanging out here i might actually throw a catfish line out here because i mean you never know but once again the hot spots right over there anyway stay tuned hopefully the dude that's fishing over there leaves by tonight and we can go pull up there and fish but yeah i might get all my stuff kind of dialed for the night and stay tuned we're gonna have a good time whoa hey buddy how are you hi oh you're scared you're cute howdy Pretty dog you got? Yeah. Just a puppy? Yeah, she's born in August. Okay. I got her about a month ago. Nice. She's got a water dog. Eh? No, she's a wuss when it comes to water and snow. All right, a little update. Just ended up talking to that feller for probably 45 minutes. I'm finally about to start getting all my stuff dialed. About to get a catfish rig all set up and get a line out, but first. Check this out, y'all. We got ourselves a brand new Anchor Solex. Really quick, before we get any further into this video, I want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Anchor Solex. I'm actually about to bring this over here i've done a few videos with anchor solex in the past and every time it's just been such an awesome experience their powerhouses are just top of the line today's episode we got the anchor solex c800 plus portable power station i'm gonna be using this sucker to charge my phone plug in my laptop this thing's gonna be charging everything i need tonight but really quick let me run through all the features of this bad boy right off the bat this sucker's got 1600 watts with 10 different ports we got one two three four five AC outlets, two USB ports right here, and we got two USB-C ports right here. Looks like this one is a 100 watt charger, this one is a 30 watt charger, and I'm pretty sure these two are fast charging also. Then we got a little car socket plug-in right here, perfect for like RV accessories and whatnot. Up here, this is one of my favorite features of the Anchor Solex, we got ourselves a little light bar. Might not look like it too because it's really bright out right now, but that thing is super, super bright at night. When I go make my ice camp fishing videos in the winter i like to put this thing under my bunk and use that light to like brighten up like the fishing hole or just like the whole ground in general it works really good as you can see here this is just a power on the screen part of it looks like we got 100 percent and also uh all these outlets have like their own buttons so if i plug something in here all you have to do is turn this on and once you're done with it you just turn it off and then you don't have to unplug it and whatnot and same with the car socket here you just hit that button to turn it on over on this side we got the charging ports this left one here is just the wall charging port and then this little yellow port here is actually for like solar panels anchor solix also has solar panels you can buy so you can hook these up to a solar panel leave it out in the sun and it'll literally recharge it forever and then in the middle here we just have a button to reset the overload protection the anchor solix c800 has a long lasting five-year warranty and 10-year lifespan this thing's got hyper flash 
class recharging, it'll charge from 0 to 100 in just 58 minutes. They also make an app for the Anchor Solex, so you can hook it up to your phone and monitor, like, your battery control and all that. Last but not least, this is probably my favorite feature. At the top of the Solex, you got a little button. Push that. And you got yourself two little light-looking deals. And then we got this thing. Let me grab one of these lights. Pop this back down. We've got another little socket thing here. Screw this in. Grab our little light here. Bam. Look at that. You can even extend this to like four feet high. Once again, it's very bright out, but this light is like crazy bright and you can turn it any which way. It's also got a little lamp mode. I will 100% be showing you guys this feature a little bit more later tonight once it's dark. Another cool thing, you can unscrew this here and the top of that has the same exact adapter that I use for like my cameras or GoPros or uh, like any kind of little ball mount. So I can literally use this Anchor Solex for uh, like a tripod. I'm talking, this is gonna come into handy so much, but I'm gonna go ahead put this back away oh another thing too as you can see right here there's little prongs this is how you charge these lights also they just stay charged in this little compartment i think that's basically it y'all one more time i want to give the hugest shout out to anchor solex for sponsoring this video i'm going to be leaving a link to their website down below in my description i'll also leave a link down in the comments if you guys are looking for a power station for your camping or fishing or hunting trips i promise you you will love this one but without further ado y'all i got some good news while i've been talking to you about the anchor solex the guy that was over there catfishing took off. So, I'm about to load Kevin back up in the Tahoe. Go pull over there. See if we can catch some catfish. All right. A boat. Here. I'm actually gonna get a little closer and try to get myself as level as possible because I'm gonna be sleeping in here tonight. Go ahead, let out the cavster. Come in. Heck yeah, dude. This is perfect. Perfecto. Here's where the cats hang out. All right, once again, y'all, stay tuned. I'm about to get all of my stuff dialed in. Yeah, let's try to catch a catfish. Oh, Kevin. Go get your ball. Get a rod set up. bait got ourselves some night crawlers but to keep these over here though just to keep them cool and where's my dog kevin hey you stay over here all right i'm gonna need this this yes couldn't find the right weights at the gas station I went to. We usually use like one ounce weights here and all I could find was five eighth ounce weights. So I'm just gonna ghetto rig two of these on my line. And for hooks, this is all I could find. We got size two Gamagatsus. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that boy. It's gonna glob it on there. Perfect. Perfect. Now, oh man, there used to be a nail on this tree. And now there's not. What am I gonna do? What if I did this? Oh yeah. Alright. We got the rod in the rod holder. Now I'm gonna loosen my drag. And if that sucker starts peeling, we got a catfish. Kevin, would you like some water and food? Want some food? Yeah, we got Kev some food and water. We got our catfish rig soaking. Once again, prime time for the kitties is definitely towards dark, so I don't have the most confidence we're gonna get one until then, but you never know. Well, we had some more people pull up 
with two dogs. And Kevin keeps trying to go over there, so I'm gonna have to put her on a leash around this tree. Down here. You gotta put this on, you keep running away. I'll have to get a little chair going. This is nice, huh, Kevin? Only thing we're missing is a fire. Don't think we're gonna have one of those tonight, though. What's up with that eye booger? How you doing? Uh, not too bad. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Good. Oh, I'm getting hammered right now. Got one. Little guy. It's a kitty. Oh, not as little as I thought. Not bad. No, not bad at all. That'd be a perfect eater if I was eating. Oh, look at that. Meow. Not bad. Not sure if I've been filming either, but... Had a nice gentleman join me. And he actually just missed one too. Oh yeah. Catfish freaked me out kinda. Hell yeah, broke the seal. Ugh. Heck yeah, get rigged up. Let's do it again. Yeah. Screw that in. Take this down here. Look at that. Whoa, instantly. This looks better. Oh, it's a bass. No way. Oh, look at that. Not the right flavor, but I'll take it. Ugh. See you, buddy. Maybe. <laughs> what are you doing, weirdo? He's just gonna hang out there for a little bit. Hey. Shit. Oh, it's swimming back to me. He freaking inhaled it. Another one bites the dust. Dude, they're freaking smacking. This is awesome. Found the smallmouth. Holy crap. Tiny. Kitty. Thanks for the ride, little buddy. Yeah. You doing better in here? Oh yeah. It is freaking 
roasting out, y'all. Kevin's fur was, like, hot, so I let her jump up in here. Kitty number four, I think. They're freaking crushing. This is awesome. <laughs> this is my favorite part, letting them go right here. He'll figure it out. Hi, sweetie. You having a little nappy? No. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is a kitty. Oh, yeah, it is. We got a kitty. Meow. Hi, Kevin. A little snacky snack. Well, Al, it's currently seven o'clock. Sun is just about going down and I'm getting hungry. I'm about to start cooking up some food. Today on the menu, don't know if I said for sure yet, but we got ourselves some mac and cheese. And I got a steak under here. Got some new steak seasoning, too. Dirty bird. Kevin, you awake finally? Huh? Don't come hang out? Got myself a brand new little grill here. First time I'll be using it. This heater is a butane heater. Usually I have like propane heaters. This is my first time using a butane one. If I'm not mistaken, all you do is push this and push that down. Yep. Hopefully the wind's not too gnarly here. Put this in here for now. How long does this take? I should probably make this first. Boil six cups. I think I have a cup right here. All right. Just gotta bring that to a boil. You know what? Got our water boiling. Took out the cheese. Get that in there. So we'll stir these. Ooh, I gotta set a timer. 10 minutes. The old wind switched. Now it's coming from this way and this way. While that's ripping, 
Might as well grab our steak and get all that seasoned. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Little ribeye. I need to get a garbage going. So some salt, a little bit of pepper, and like I said earlier, we got ourselves a new rub. This is called Dirty Bird by Cosmos. I just had uh, this Cosmos this winter, uh, Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. This one's really good too, but first time trying this one. Oh yeah. I'm just going to do the same exact thing to this side. Oh, shit, dog. All right, that's ready to go. Another little update for y'all, too. Buddy that was fishing here with me, he took off a little bit ago. And I also reeled up my rod just while I'm cooking this just because it's it's been pretty consistent i caught like six seven catfish already and i've probably missed a good 15 so just while i'm cooking this i figured i'd reel that up anyways yeah mac and cheese just about done we've got like three more minutes and then i'm gonna get this steak ripping mm-hmm For now, I'm just going to set this right here. Get our pan somewhat clean. Wire it back up. Butter. Eh, that's a pretty big pan. Better do two. Sucker's definitely a little uneven. Take this. Yeah. Setting a timer for three minutes. Literally gonna cook it for three minutes, flip it, cook it for another three minutes, let it rest for like five minutes. See how it's looking. It's not cooking as hot as I'd like it to. That's for sure. And I got a little brown to it. Let's get some of this butter all up on that. I wish this was cooking a little hotter. Not sure how I feel about the old Coleman uh, butane stove. Might have to do like four minutes aside doing an additional one minute. Tell you what though, that seasoning smells pretty fuego. Let's see how this mac and cheese is doing. A little taste test. Bussin. See how this side's looking. Oh yeah, a little better. I'm gonna cook this on this side again just for literally one minute. One minute. Get some more of this butter on here too. Look at that. That's how it's supposed to look. Grab our cutting board. Oh yeah. It's like falling apart. Set a timer for this for four minutes. And we bout to feast. All right, y'all, I'm about to cut into this thing. See how we did. 
tender. Very tender. Oh. That killer bee is pretty insane. Holy crap. All right, stay tuned. I'm about to cut this all up, dish myself up a little plate, and we're about to feast. You want to try a piece, Kev? Some fat for you. Whoa. Dude, I lied what I said before. This steak is perfect. Get a little bit of mac and cheese. This might be like my all time favorite meal mac and cheese and ribeye. Hard to beat. We got a freaking beaver coming in hot. Look at this freaking view too. Holy crap. Oh man, another beaver. Two beavers. Freaking beavers, swans, steak and mac and cheese. Does it get any better? Stay tuned y'all. I'm about to freaking smash as much of this as I can. Talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm probably gonna try to catch some more catfish. Tell you what, it's mac and cheese bussin'. Already going in for seconds. Well, I just absolutely destroyed that. All we got left is a couple little scraps for Kevin. I might die. Stay tuned, y'all. About to clean up all of this mess. And we about to cast out that kitty rod again. See if we can't get some more kitties. And it's also getting really cold. So about to throw a jacket on. Alright, y'all. We got our mess all cleaned up. Let's see if we can't catch another kitty. Or five. I'm freaking cold, Kevin. Cold up in here. Just instantly. Yep, going. <laughs> Shit. That literally took a minute. Like, not even. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good kitty. Come here, big boy. Hey, you calm down. All right. What's that? Kitty number six, seven, eight? I don't even know. Meow. Listen to him burp. Oh, he quit. Bye. Kevin, that took a minute. About to put this away, too. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to put this away. I'm going to show you guys the light on this sucker. Look how bright this sucker is. And there's that beaver again. What's up, boy? Oh. Oh, shit. No. Ah. I have a feeling this might get freaking wonky. That was instant again. Right, I think while I'm waiting for another bite, I'm about to get my blackout things in my windows. I got these for my windows so that literally when I'm inside with the lights on, it looks like nobody's in there. It's just blacked out. They are pretty nifty. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost lost the rod. Dude, no way. No way. It came off again. Literally, my rod was tacoed right there. All right, stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to get all my windows in and talk to you guys when we're catching another fish. Kevin, it's dark out, huh? You, you, man, in the, you man in the rod? I better check this. No way. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> That's funny. I thought I was snagged. Freaking kitty. Meow. Another beautiful kitty. Come here. Oh, I almost, I almost touched him wrong. For those of you that haven't catfished before, you really got to look out for that fin, that fin, and that fin because they can stab you like really hard and it hurts like a mother. Meow. Oh, look at him go. Oh. 
Oh, better? Better? Better. Might be the same size. Yup. Must have been hooked weird or something. Oh, it's a little better. Goodbye, buddy. Let's re-rig, do that again. And it, honestly, it's getting kind of cold out. I think I'm only gonna catch like one or two more. And I think me and Cavi are gonna hop in the old towel, warm up and watch some Netflix or something. I don't know. You know, I can't say I've ever put my rod in my rim before. <laughs> Works pretty good. Yo. <laughs> kitty, 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 kitty. They're all like the same size. Like, widowy, all the same size. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. <laughs> all right. One more, I think. One more. One final. Meow. <laughs> Especially when your hands get wet. Freaking freezing. Alright. Time to put this away. I'm about to just put this back up here because I doubt I'm going to fish in the morning. Usually the kitties aren't too active then. Probably just going to wake up and leave, so we might as well just put this away now. Oh. I'm also going to want the old Anchor Solex in there with me. Because I need to charge my phone and stuff. Oh, just set this right here until I get in here. Hop on in. Oh, dude. Gonna want that. All right. Okay, I need to do some situating real quick and I need my lights. There's one right here. Put this up there now. Oh, forgot to put these ones in. And while I'm in here, go ahead and lock that. No weirdos try to get me. Huh, Gav? Oh, better hide that. Uh -oh. You're so adorable. Oh, this jacket needs to come off right now. Little update, yo. Just got off a freaking hour phone call, damn near. About to, one second, about to try to hook up my hotspot so I can watch some Netflix or something or YouTube. Yeah. Success. All right, guys, we've spent the last six months renovating this shop building that we are in right now. Okay. Little socks need to come off. Oh. I don't know if I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to use that heater tonight. It's pretty warm in here since me and Kevy got in. I also have a zero degree sleeping bag, so I think I should be safe. Look at that. I've been using this all day, even though I've only been charging my like phone and GoPro. We still got 99%. Oh, yeah. All right, stay tuned, y'all. I am nice and comfy. I got some Netflix ripping. I'm sure I'm not going to last too long tonight. I'm freaking whooped. And my hands reek like catfish. Holy crap. <laughs> stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to talk to you guys in a little bit or something. Hi, sweet baby. Sweet.
to baby Gavi. Gavi, you want to go potty one more time? Come on. Go potty. Go. Come on. Come on. Smooth move, Gav. Freaking, that made it freaking freezing in here. Kevy, come on. Come on, Kev. Come on. Well, it is 11.08, y'all. I'm freaking toast. I'm about to pass out. Hopefully, Kevy's gonna come snuggle with me so that I stay warm. Pretty dope day today, though. Caught a ton of freaking catfish. Ate some bomb food. Night, night, y'all. We'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, Gabby. Good morning, y'all. I did not sleep very good last night. I don't think I fell asleep till like 3, 3.30. Yeah, it was only 7.58. I'm about to pack up and get out of here. Once again, freaking just smash the catfish in this video. Oh, I gotta poop. You guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button one more time. The hugest shout out to Anchor Solix for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be leaving a link down below in my description to their website. Go check that out. And I'll also be leaving the same link down in the comments. Yeah, I think that's it, y'all. This light is so bright. Peace out. Love y'all. See you next time.